All right, Scott, we're taking a look at your beginning swings here during our session. You can see you have a little bit of dip with your hands. That brings the bat head up in the air. That can be a problem because it makes you reroute it. Now you do get it back up into a good position here and you have a nice stride. As your rotation starts, look at under snap. Bat head drops down and then it comes up through. Uh, you're just kind of, it's not a really, and then look how your, uh, your finish is way up in the air with your left hand. It's not a really bad, obvious, loopy, draggy swing, but it produces the same results. A lot of uh, pop-ups and also top spin ground balls. Once again here, your stride is great. You always get a nice weight trans or weight uh, coming forward. Here's a lower pitch, look at there. That's where the loopy golfy swing really shows up. You're trying to lift that up in the air instead of cutting down through. And then it just leads to kind of an awkward finish there. Here the bat is getting a little out of control. Uh, you got it way up in the air. Um, it's a pitch out in front of you here. You're taking a big leg kick and stride. Just a lot of motion there. Look at how you have to reroute the bat to get it on plane. And then what happens to it? It just drops down and then you loop up through. It's a classic flaw that we see and uh, even just cutting down some of that motion, getting into a better starting position is gonna help us out. Once again, look at that bat way up in the air. You know, we're trying to hit something up in the air and you already have the bat, you know, the, the knob pointing down. Just look how you have to reroute it. You're rerouting it all the way. Now it's on plane, now it's dropping down and then now it's coming up over the top. You do a nice job recovering. I mean, you swing, here's a slower shot of it, right here. You do a nice job recovering. You swing on a relatively straight line, but look at that angle. I mean, that pitch would have to be up over your head. We'll talk about that later for you to actually make, you know, solid contact with it. Really need to get more, much more of a level to slightly up from level swing. Um, swing angle that is because you are swinging on a pretty good straight line and then look at your back foot you're stuck on the back foot really not getting a, a great finish to the rotation I let this go long here so that you can see when you actually plant your left foot down you're basically still in your stance here's a little bit faster look at another swing here a little bit inside pitch so you can turn on it once again, you can see there, trying to lift up on it, and there you're actually very late with the snap. That was actually a, a, an awesome. under snap. There we awesome. go. That was awesome. We're looking at a focus of swinging on a straight line down through. Don't worry about the finish kind of looking weird there. We were coming forward, mostly just thinking about the bat path here. Taking the knob down with the stab, and here we're talking about you starting your snap much earlier in the swing, right when the hands are back. You need to start torquing both those wrists down. This is our mental thought. We don't actually want to swing down, but we're taking the bat head from point A, which is the hands are back. Let's just pretend the hands are back here. I don't have them all the way back on you. Look at this. This is the wrong way to do it, how I'm demonstrating, how you did on that swing a couple swings ago. Under snap. You're taking the the knob is in your left hand, you've kind of turned it up and pulled it up in the air a little bit, and then now you're snapping your wrist, but look at the angle you're snapping it. You're under snapping. You know, you can be as big as strong as you want and try to under snap like that, and you're just gonna create an awkward angle to attack the ball. And that's what you're doing on not every pitch, but uh, you know, it's either your angle or your snap that's that's the issue. You know, you're either lifting up too much or you're you're missing the snap and under snapping it. Now bring the hands back into the starting position and what's over snap you stab the knob on a straight line there see how the knobs not getting pulled up in the air by your left hand and now the top hand or your right hand is boom punching over the top you have to have a thought of over snap we've covered that in a lot of episodes previously and then all the way out to point B as we call it, that's full extension. So right after contact, you wanna be getting to that full extension. Here we're talking about it again. Don't just think about the point of contact. You gotta get out there, out to full extension. So our focus was more on getting out to full, there are, that's the wrong way to do it, The off to the left. You want full extension to be right there, just after contact, or a little ways after contact. So instead of thinking of point of contact and stopping, oh, boom, yeah. that was oh, nice. Yeah.
We're thinking about getting out to point B right after contact and the ball's just getting in the way, in the way of our, our bat path. Boom, look at that. You can almost see that it almost looked exactly how you were demonstrating it, right through on a straight line. Transitioning to live here, let's take a look. This, I put this on here on purpose because this, these are the balls that you were attacking. Look how high that is, I mean, that's over your head. And that's what you felt comfortable swinging at previously because you were swinging up in the air and that's the only pitch that you could really match your swing plane to. Take a look here, much, much less motion in the beginning, you notice that? Boom, there you go. This was a pop-up, but look how you're attacking it. You attacked it a little bit too much down and a little bit too aggressive, but that's good. You know, we're, we're getting past the threshold of too much down, you know, as opposed to too much up. Now we can dial it back a little bit. Look at your bat, your hands and your bat. Just so much less motion there. Now you're in such a great connected position. <clears throat> Look at the hands coming through. Nice. Point of contact out to full extension. The only thing I don't like is watch your left hand here. You finish up with the bat right there that's just kind of an old habit it's gonna over time that's gonna make you lift up more you know you want that that left hand and the bat head to continue to rotate and actually finish down um that's where most of the the pros and all the all the good uh hitters that you see on our videos always swing down always uh, finish down with the left hand and around here we go ball out in front yeah oh yeah you put it all together there once again i don't like that left hand bringing the bat up um, but you had a great cut swing on that. You can see our, our mental focus of swinging down through it is getting you to where your bat path is still slightly up from level, but it takes a mental thought of swinging down to get you there. Great connected position there. Rotation coming through, there's the stab, there's the snap. Oh yeah, there's point B all the way out to full extension. And then you continue around. Now if that bat head would just continue to come down a little bit. You're better there, you see that? You were about level. Here's another look at a shorter pitch, look at that. You're not trying to lift that short pitch up in the air. You're attacking it down. Oh, and here's the, the bomb you hit. Legitimate 375 feet uphill into the wind. It rolled past our secondary fence, which is over 400 feet. So, I mean, it landed legitimately in that 375 range look at how and this is a little bit higher pitch which you, you don't have to uh, be scared of attacking as long as you attack it on the the right path you know anything higher than this i wouldn't go for it and this could be even a, a couple inches lower and you'd really um, find your zone this is kind of the top of your zone but you really took the stab the stab and then the snap right through just awesome uh, it was a great, uh, great clip to end on here. Uh, thanks again, Scott, for making the trip from uh, Minneapolis. Always great working with you, and uh, good luck this season.